What's good, y'all? I don't know if you can hear me, but I just kind of wanted to get this a little bit because I literally just said things happen out here and sometimes you just can't help it. So I'm in Georgia making my way to Waycross and I had a blowout. That could be potentially severe. As you can see, the sparks and everything hit that because of the blowout. So, I'm kind of, it's, it's no side of the road. It's really no safe way to park. So, I'm pretty much in the road. Because if I go off on the side, I risk the truck flipping. See, we have water, which I'm not going to be out here too long in case there's gators. But please, I'm gonna have to um, set up my to hopefully warn people, you know. I'm broke down. Watch out. Please give me space. I had a pretty long day today. It's coming out to deliver and way cross. I'm to go back, pick up again in Newberry and deliver in Okella. I'm not sure what's going to be what's of what. But I just called breakdown, back to set up my triangles, go in my truck, and then call my dispatcher and let them know what's going on. So that they can let the shipper know that I'm going to be late to Waycross now. And figure out if they want to find someone else for the Okella dispatch or if they want to uh, just wait and see what happens with me. So in these kits, you should have three triangles. No matter what, you should always have three triangles in your truck. It is a DOT regulation. You should know where your triangles are, okay? So they're closed. Just lift them up like so and connect them together like that. It's a weight at the bottom, so it stands and holds itself up, and they rotate. Okay. I'm going to set my first one up like 10 feet, 10 steps out away from the truck. Next one, I'm probably going to take about 20 steps. The next one, I might take about 40 to 50 steps to spread them out to warn cars that there's something going on. Watch out. Please don't hit me. <coughs> so, basically, you know, take the <laughs> and I'm on the road so I want to set it up to the outside of the truck like so I don't want to put it over here and you know they potentially they're not able to go around so I want them to go around so I got to set it up on the outside of the truck so, I have that hiccup going on. I'm nine times out of ten is going to be sitting here for hours. <laughs> uh, and I'm not even that far from my setup, my own um, delivery location. How far the second one is from the... I'm going to really put out there, but I, I'm not going to put it as far in the middle because with traffic coming both directions they kind of need they may need to you know adjust but I'm trying to get this as I'm going through so if I'm breaking up I'm not coming through clear I'm sorry but I just wanted to try to get this real quick while it's happening just give me space y'all I'm broke space so hopefully they abide by it. Sometimes people do just go right over the triangles. They don't be paying attention. So hopefully they abide by it. 
but um sometimes you just stuff happens man you could do your pre-trip you could check all the boxes you know make sure everything's working everything's well and stuff will still happen sometimes it's just there's nothing you could do about it um but be prepared and know what to do when it happens that's what that's what's most um most important and don't panic and after that just chill out it's a waiting game you gotta wait for help to come <laughs> But then they're gonna you typically try to get the closest mechanic available to you yeah I'm, I'm just rolling and it's a pretty straight away I'm, I'm luckily I'm in one a spot that has signal because this a lot of this road don't have any signal then I would have been really stranded but um it's a straight away and I'm just riding um, I don't recall even rolling over anything I don't think anything happened out of the ordinary unordinary but uh all of a sudden the truck popped and well I heard it that's how I knew a tire was going to pop so I immediately slowed down just trying to see Okay, they stayed up. And that was a lot of wind, so hopefully they stay up. But I slowed down, and immediately I started seeing the th tread uh, fly around. And it did, see it's up here. It did break my mirror, too. But that's, that's, that's I'm going to have to report that to the company. Not so much you know, breakdown. Sorry, there was a lot of moving around, but like I said, I wanted to get that because I just explained like these situations happen out here and you really can't do nothing but wait. This is my life for a few hours. <laughs> All right, but um, yeah, that's pretty much it. There's nothing more to say. Um, I just showed you what happened, showed you what to do in situations like that. Um, now, I need to probably get back on the phone and start back making some calls. I'm gonna let them know about this mirror as well and see if that's something they wanna try to do while I'm up this way or not. And I need to call my dispatcher and let them know what's going on so they they know I'm not gonna Dang, that truck just knocked down two of my flags. <laughs> I gotta get back out. See what I'm saying? Uh all right. But uh, you see some of the downsides that we can have out here in this truck and um, as I wait to see what's going on with the rest of the damage and figure out um, the rest of the dots and P's and Q's that I have to cross, y'all be good. Hopefully you're having a better day than I'm having right now. Uh, but thank you for watching. <laughs> Hope you learned something. <laughs>
maneuver, <laughs> enough space to maneuver, and enough space that they can see the other lane that's coming in their direction to make sure that no vehicles are coming so they can slow down, stop, or keep going if whichever one they need be. Okay, but thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope this video is helpful for whenever this happens to you. Um, I will say I hope it never happens to you, but let's be honest, it's a bar of trucking, it's gonna happen. It's not my first blowout. It won't be my last blowout. It is the first blowout that broke the, uh, the side mirror. Definitely the first one for that. And I tried to see if I can get it on track. I still can't no more. So most likely I'm gonna get the tire fixed and if the actual tractor and the airbags and everything with that is okay, then I'll go, I guess, deliver the load or go to a shop, whichever one comes first, I don't know. Cause I can see, I can see, but that upper mirror, um, it's just a different view, but it is my driver's side. If it was my passenger side, it'll probably be more damaging because then I can't see at all. See how I got this passenger side set up. I hit by, I intentionally got hit. Now, I ain't say that. The driver intentionally swung his trailer into my truck. Um, sometime like last month I think it was but he intentionally did that right after he shot me the bird because I didn't even give you the story it was raining we was on 75 I already I wasn't in the lane long okay because I understand it blocks traffic I wasn't in the lane long I had to take the fast lane for a split second to go around some cars that was in the middle lane that was just going very very slow um, maybe they didn't have their brakes done. I don't know. But they was going very slow, being very cautious. So I went around them. Mind you, I'm only going 55. Usually when it slows down, uh, I mean, when it starts raining, you want to slow your tractor down from 70 or whatever you're doing, 65, at least to 55, 55, 50. So I went around them and I got back into the past, I mean, the middle lane. And I was getting ready to go into the slower lane because my turn was coming up anyways, but the tractor behind me went into the slow lane, which is the far right lane, and proceeded to pass by me. Um, I really wasn't paying him no mind at all until he was pretty much past me and I saw him shoot the bird at me. And then he swung his trailer into me and it was just a whole lot, a whole lot. But when that gets, when my vision is blocked from that mirror, as you can see, I can't see nothing. It's like this. So imagine trying to look at the back of your trailer or to the left, I mean, to the right side of your trailer and see what's coming. Can I get over? Can, you can't see nothing. So a little bit of panic move mode. I had to get over and hope that there wasn't another truck or vehicle on that side. And at first it was, but eventually I made my way through safely thank you god but um being that I, with all that being said being that it's the driver's side i can still see and make sure that to maneuver the way that i need to so i'm not sure what what they're gonna tell me i have to wait till my driver manager get in to know what i'm gonna do about that but hopefully once they fix the tire i can just go it's no damage to the truck um but we're gonna find out. Because when the tire blew, I didn't take long to slow down. I immediately uh, put on my engine brake because I'm I'm heavy. You know, I'm, I'm hauling cement powder, I'm heavy. Uh, I put on my e engine brake. So, put on the engine brake, right? I slowed it down the best that I could. And I see sparks. And I didn't know it was that bad. I didn't know I was actually sliding on the ground. So that's when I immediately knew. I was like, maybe I can roll. I didn't know what tire. I thought it was a trailer tire. Like maybe I could roll slowly to get to a safer parking. No, there's no moving this thing. <laughs> I can't move it. So it is what it is. I'm stuck here. So I'm gonna hang out. But I wanted to better explain myself. I wanted to slow down. My heartbeat 
a little bit because I wanted to make <laughs> rush is making sure that I got everything and got everything done in a timely manner. Um, but we're good. Everything is set up. Everyone's already informed and well aware. So I'm just gonna hang hang out and pray the cavalry don't take too long. Okay. But hope that was more clear for you guys. Hope I further explained steps and things that you need to do and make sure that you're paying attention to uh it happens it just happens but thank you for taking time out and watching the rest of this video <laughs> and until next time hopefully it'll be more better news and more brighter news to share with you guys okay so it's been three hours and I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting on uh, someone to come and rescue my day. Um, I've gotten a, a visitor. Someone just took it upon themselves to be a concerned citizen and call 911 for a broke down truck that's on alongside the highway. So I had an officer, a uh, nice guy, come check on me and have me move I don't know how many yards not not much but a few yards up see that's him leaving now but had me move a few yards up from where I was and move my triangles for me and as well as the last little bit of the tire that was left on the rim moved it out the road into the uh, grass and moved me up like not directly by the water, but I'm still on the side of the road, but it's a little bit of pavement back there and like a little spot for a car. I'm even more concerned about tipping over the edge than I was before, but I should be good where I'm at and um, still waiting on someone to come save my day, like I said. So three hours in. We'll see how much longer I have to go. I done ate my peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. That was my lunch for the day. Uh, my second load did call and cancel. Remember I said I was supposed to go to Ocala? They called and canceled. Um, and it's possibly because it rained and stormed very bad last night uh, around Ocala area. So that's pro possibly why. They probably didn't do as much work as they would have done because things are wet. Uh, so... Whenever I do get to offload this, I have my mileage for the day, I have my hourly for breakdown, and just a two and a half hours back home. Happy hump day, guys. <laughs> All right, guys, it's 12, so I've been broke down since 6.30. It's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, six hours. And the guys just got here. Hello, how you doing today? All right, yourself? Uh, I'll be better once we're done. So, I just got to take a couple of pictures, find a way to jack it up, and I should be able to bolt it off. I got a new one in there, rim and everything, so hopefully it'll go pretty quick. Okay. All right? Thank you. So, yep, I've been sitting on the side of the road for six hours. Maintenance guy just got here. I'm like an hour to the right of Valdosta. For some reason, they called someone in something hill, which was like three hours away. And then they never came. Then they called someone in Pooler, which is like three hours away. They didn't come. Not really sure what this, this company's from, but... Yeah, <laughs> so someone's finally here. I'm finally getting loaded. That's what I mean, Bob, when I say, like, when you have a breakdown, you just got to get ready for a long day. A long day. So, uh, pretty much what happens, they just do their job. I don't really have to do much. They might ask me to sign something at the end of it all, but that's that's pretty much it. And then once, once I'm done, I guess I'll get, get back in touch with my dispatcher and see what they want me to do from there <laughs> just giving you guys an update so that I can put it all in the video so you can have the full ins and outs of how this works out here when you're on the road all right 
I'll be back with the next update when I'm done. Okay, so six hours of waiting for a mechanic to get here, 30 minutes for them to complete the job. And we're just about ready to go. I'm gonna go back and pick up my triangles. And then I'll call and let my dispatcher know what's going on. So, new tire, who this? Everything look, looks to be in order. Everything looks to be okay. So we'll go pick up these triangles. And figure out the rest of my day. So, being that I was broke down, I get paid by the hour. And I still get all my other residuals. If that's the proper terminology. And I'm ready to get up out of here. Been sitting here for a long time, so if you don't mind, actually, I should work my way from the bottom on up just in case because we got traffic that's still coming. But I just wanted to, wanted to bring you guys along for this mishap that I had today. Here we are. Thank you. Turn you back. Hold you down just like that so you can see that it is some kinks out here that we have to go through and you see in the middle of nowhere <laughs> literally no nothing so that's something that you can think about before getting into trucking if something like this would be for you it's easier a little bit when you're in a, uh, a bedded truck but when you're in the day cab you know you kind of have to figure your life out oh wait but let me go ahead and get these triangles down kind of struggling with the one hand but appreciate you guys for watching the video went longer than I thought it would be but figure I'll show you guys the whole process it's a gnat flying around my eye show you guys the whole wait six hours for a 30 minute fix it's been a pleasure <laughs> oh man like share this video subscribe thank you Hope you guys are having, again, hope you guys are having a better day than I am. Happy hump day, everyone. <laughs> Peace out.